and welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. And today we have yet another Velocico update. And it's officially opening now in summer 2021. If you haven't seen already, I'm gonna put the link right above I'm gonna break down the Universal's Velocico store um, these are trailer, which included uh, the first look at the trains as well as some animatronics and the launches, which looked absolutely amazing. So again, if you haven't checked it out, please check it out up above. It's in the top right corner. It is too good to not to be checked out. It, those trains are absolutely amazing. And we'll see them wrapped up in this update. But right now, here is just some guys in a cherry picker working on that inversion right there. We're going to support. They're actually adding netting because it's going to go right. Those two areas are going to go right over a pedestrian pathway, so we're going to add netting just so the people down below, the guests down below, don't uh, have cell phones and other loose items falling on them should they fall from anyone riding the Velocicoaster. Here's a close look at the netting and there's more. There's some of the um, supports. You can see this, some of the supports have the, the like the, they have little connections so they can connect that netting to one another. Looks like you see it on the first three supports, and again, just going right over the lake area, uh, right over the pathway, over the lagoon area. Here's an interesting view we haven't really seen before. I'm not entirely sure what that house is. Um, I don't know if that's like new construction as part of the Velocicoaster, or what. It actually might be like a barge. I think it is on the lake area i think comment below if anyone knows what that house or that wooden house is there and as you can see they started putting the perforated metal on the return cage this is when you return right back to the station they're starting to cover that up with some metal and it looks great they're just basically onto the nitty gritty details of this attraction the tracks done Major things and even the rock work looks to be about to now just the nitty gritty details like the animatronics programming the animatronics, um, putting on the, the fencing like again, they're finishing the fencing on this paddock right here, the raptor paddock, it's as it's officially called. And also, you can see you can see the uh train again wrapped up, getting uh, looks like the full train this time going through that pull through or that testing segment where it's going right to that second launch as you can see going right up on the top picture right into that second launch where it'll be eventually launching into the top hat but yeah again just minor details to finish that or yes minor details to finish up and then lots of testing they can open up next summer 2021 could even probably memorial day Here's a picture of some more raptor eggs, some of which have hatched, and some, as you see on the top right, are waiting to be hatched. And they're just kind of really put in there. It's kind of like blended very well to the uh, the wall right there, the cracked wall. And when you go to some overhead shots of the attraction, look at that, they completely they uh, colored up, they put some moss on the rock work so it looks um, much, again, prehistoric. Looks like you're in Iceland Nubar, or Iceland Nubar. They're still going to put some, uh, they got to cover up the fence down below, or the raptor paddock fence down below. And it's crazy because it just looks like from the ground, those mountains look really full and do the force perspective, they look just like full and complete. But from above, you can see it's like the Matterhorn, the coaster is just going right through them, and there's kind of these half mountains, especially the one to the left. It's like a big spike base, it's not even like a mountain. It just goes right underneath it. That's incredible. And over here, in a nice overview of the project, you see a couple of arrows. The arrows, one of the, the top right, uh, top right arrow, arrows, the return area. And the top left is the first show bring the stage. As you see in the return area, there's some wood, some plywood there. Um, I'm not sure 
what they're gonna do here it is I some plywood. I think it's just for a catwalk actually, because they can see that's again that they're finished up the ride, and that's probably that's also where the, one of the rappers can be rumored to run right next to you. While another one dashes out and tries to eat you later on. But there's some plywood there, as they're probably just putting in some catwalks, as and that's again, probably gonna be just, again some breaks and stuff as you're returning to the station. And lastly, yet another overhead shot here of just the other side of the area where um that we're just looking at, and this is the first part of it. Again, as you can see, all of it's just about done. The, the rock work is done. The even the theming, the the plants and the trees and theming is done. They really just gotta finish up the fence, then. Let's say put some put the pathway back outside of the fence, and that's just about it. And then we should start seeing extensive testing on this. I definitely say in the next couple of months, I won't be surprised again by Thanksgiving, um, Christmas, but definitely Thanksgiving, we see uh, extensive test runs on this. As a uh, there's not much to do left except maybe just program the launches and again program the uh, the animatronics. For the cut to two or three raptors that are moving, there's three statues, three raptor statues that are just placed that they'll be zooming by. But there's rumors to be about two to three raptor animatronics as well. They can program those, get those in, and start doing extensive test runs. And you know, I, I still think this might be moved up to spring. I still think so because it's just, I mean, I don't know what they have to program maybe the show scene and work on the show scene. So that could take a, uh, a couple months. And there's some catwalks again between the show scene and the first, or that first launch. You see the, the they did those catwalks, and that's exactly what they're building um, on the return segment. But yeah, um, I don't know. This potential, I think this definitely could open up in spring 2021, especially if economic conditions improve. What do you guys think of the Jurassic Coaster, um, the newest update? I think it looks just more and more fantastic each and every week. I'm so excited after that teaser video. Definitely go check that up on the right hand side. I'm so excited for it to come out after that. And uh, subscribe for more theme park updates and more Velocicoaster updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.